Quasinetto è mio. The character of Don Juan, known as Don Giovanni in the classic opera by Mozart, may seem on the surface an unsympathetic one. But for those who are bringing his story to life at the Raimi Arts Center, the womanizing murderer has some surprising depth. In the moment he's seducing them, is there really a sincere um, affection for them? And I think that's something just, just to think about. The more that people think about it differently, the more that you can experience the show and just see his journey as well. He is also someone who I think is, is struggling. <laughs> In this opera, during the course of the opera, he doesn't actually succeed in seducing anybody, despite his best efforts. And over the course of the show, he sort of unravels mentally. McNeil, who plays the title character, says any concerns that that somewhat nuanced, layered approach to the character will get lost in translation aren't necessary. Mozart makes it easy, uh, easy to convey that the music uh, in no way takes away from the story, it, it only adds um, really deep and, and, as I said, really human layers to, to every character. And there will also be English surtitles to help tell the tale, as Don Giovanni is staged by Saskatoon Opera through June 24th. Increasing the accessibility is a somewhat modern interpretation with a film noir feel. And it isn't only the main character that feels more realistic in this telling. The female characters are all very strong and we get to really bring that out in our singing. Um, I really love the way that we are bringing um, some of the women of the chorus into these scenes as sort of being those onlookers who have been affected by this, what some feel, evil man. <laughs> The production is a homecoming of sorts for Johnson, who is from Regina originally. She is thrilled to get the chance to perform for friends and family members, as well as all audiences, as she believes there is a real appetite for this type of performance here. The arts community here is so strong, and there's really a, a thirst for the arts, so I think it's really, really great that um, that this is something that they've continued to do. Being able to bring that to an audience that wouldn't necessarily think that it was accessible is something that's really, really great. In Saskatoon, I'm Simon Hyatt reporting.